What's up guys? Um, today we are going to be taking a look at My Dear Killer from Mondo. Um, this is a very underrated, obscure maybe even is the word to use, um, giallo. And this was from 72. This wasn't um, your typical giallo. There were a lot of really cool, unique death scenes in this. One taking place at a um, a like a construction site with like a crane. Uh, super cool. Uh, very unrealistic. Very awesome. Um, something you're not going to see in an Argento film or um, any of the popular giallos. So definitely. Um, if you haven't seen this, you should check it out. Uh, this is on a limited edition white and red, I do believe is what Mondo got. And it's limited to 550 copies. Um, so my understanding is there are other colors and copies out there, but this is the Mondo exclusive. Um, I may be wrong with that, so it is what it is. But, uh, so this is awesome. Uh, it's 180 gram, um, and it is the first time it's ever been on vinyl. So let's just go ahead and crack it open. I went ahead and took it out of the box so you didn't see me struggle with the pull tab, as we did in the previous one, because they're awful and they don't work, ever. course with all Mondo we've got the slip on the side um, also available Wild Beasts uh, Werewolf Woman Fuga del Bronx coming soon Warriors of 2072 House on the Edge of the Park which is going to be awesome and Faces of Death I had no idea they were going to release Faces of Death so Faces of Death interesting film so we got the artwork back here um, actually kind of gives away the death I was talking about so that's a bummer and I apologize the inside is awesome this is a you know a black glove killer just like your typical giallo but inside is friggin awesome we can see that the black gloves the razor blade so this score was done by um, Ennio Morricone, and obviously he's super popular, especially if you're into scores and soundtracks. Um, most recently, he had won his first Academy Award, um, very, very long overdue for Tarantino's The Hateful Eight, but he's also done such great things as um, Sergio Leone's Once Upon a Time in the West, um, Stendhal Syndrome from Argento. Hey, he even did Argento's Phantom of the Opera. I love Argento. And maybe most notably in the horror genre, he did John Carpenter's The Thing. So here we are. The red um, doesn't really have too much white in it. Because on the side here, you can see some. I don't know if it shows up on camera there. Um, I got scolded by a friend for touching the vinyl in my last video, but he's super OCD. So, very thick, 180 gram. This should spin very nicely. Um, this is Death Waltz number 114. It doesn't seem like it's been that long that they've been releasing things. It does have a nice slip with the wax paper on the inside of it. And I'm not sure if there's an art card. Nope, no art card with this one. So it's just your record. Um, very good score. Check it out. Um, got a very jazzy effect to it so I definitely even if you don't buy the record have no interest in records um, that's fine 
But if you like genre, if you like Jallos and you're a fan of the genre, do yourself a favor and check this film out. Um, you're not going to be disappointed. So that's it. Hope you liked it. Like, subscribe, and share, and all that fun stuff. Um, trying to keep the videos a little bit shorter. One record instead of three. So...